everybody <laughs> welcome back today i look a little different because i'm posting on halloween <laughs> and i'm currently reading uh, the folk of the air trilogy and i get a little inspired by uh, by carden this is a little um, fairy inspired look today for this video and for today i thought maybe i can do the uh, booktube newbie tag because I'm still quite new to the world. It's, I've been doing uh, booktube videos for three months now, I think. So at least my opinion is that it's still fitting for me to do this tag. So let me quickly look up the questions and then we'll start. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? I just love reading and books. Basically, the only content I watched on YouTube were like booktube videos. I just wanted to be more in the book world again. <laughs> so basically, that was all the content I was consuming and I wanted to be a part of it. And I wanted to have my own little community to share opinions on things we are currently reading. So yeah, that's why I started this channel. <laughs> Second question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I feel like in a, in a job interview right now <laughs> with this question. Uh, of course, one point that I can bring are my dogs. They are not that into reading, sadly. wanted to convince them to read with me, but uh, they are not always in the mood. They're just kind of the sleeping kind most of the time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can bring like a person who's new to the game again and has to figure out what kind of books I enjoy. Maybe you feel the same. Maybe you just started reading again and are a little overwhelmed with all the books people talk about. So you just can come here and hear an opinion of a new newbie as well. Maybe that will um, will help. So let's move on to question number three. What are you most excited for about this new channel? I have two points I'm most excited for. The first one is forming a little community that has a similar interest in stuff I'm reading so that I can have more people to talk about the books I am reading because I think a lot of times when you read you just have to talk about the book you have to have someone you can communicate with because it's so it has made such an impact on your your life maybe and your your thoughts and not a lot of people in my surroundings are reading the same books I am reading so I'm very excited to have people reaching out to me maybe and uh, yeah telling me their opinion on the books that I am enjoying currently or that I hated currently because that's um, that's the thing I'm really looking forward to and also I like to have this channel for myself so that I personally can see how my style of books maybe changes throughout the years what books I read in a month or in a year and what I thought about them back then because maybe if I am rereading a book and then watching back a, a review I did maybe it, I will feel completely different about a book and now I don't only have this uh, in my mind as a memory but I have a, a video I can look back on which is I think very cool so I'm also a big part of this channel is to do it for myself <laughs> as a kind of diary you know and why not take you with me on that journey. Question number four is uh, why do you love reading? My Goodreads bio, I, there's the sentence um, just a girl who loves to live her life through books and that describes me pretty well <laughs> I would say. Um, I just like it that I can escape in another world and forget everything around me. Just having the words on a piece of paper transform into into a story and sinking into it just I love it when you read a good book you just you're in inside of the book you're in the story I don't even realize things around me happening because I'm just so invested and I, I think I'm seeing everything with my own eyes and it's so good for your creativity and for your imagination and everything just gets better when you when you read i think because we are so used to having everything thrown at us like so many visual things happening there are so many tv shows i'm 
I'm working in an office, so I'm staring at the screen the whole day. And there's so much impact that I think in my free time, I just need a calm space and a book to be, yeah, to be, to be happy, honestly. <laughs> and that's basically why I love reading. It helps me myself be more creative and be happier and don't look at my phone that much and be sad that I can't be like other people I see on social media or that my life isn't like theirs. Otherwise now I'm sitting here being sad that I'm not a fairy, but <laughs> these are different kind of problems, you know, because it's not achievable to, to be a fairy, but it's achievable to live in like a million dollar mansion. So I don't know. For myself, it's just, it makes me feel better and it makes me happy and I I just I just love it. <laughs> Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? Um, I will take this question as a what book or series got me back into reading and I maybe also mentioned this in my um, entry to booktube video but it was Harry Potter. I started reading the Harry Potter series beginning of this year and basically the last three books really got me back into the habit of reading. I read them in such a short period of time because I was so into it and I loved it so much and I was looking for a hobby for a long... <laughs> it sounds so stupid that I was looking for a hobby but I, I actually was um, because yeah my, my boyfriend has a lot of hobbies and he's away a lot of the time and I was at home alone and didn't know what to do and I was kind of sad to not have my my own thing and then I started reading again and it was so stupid that I didn't think of reading because that's basically what I did my whole teenage years <laughs> but um, yeah then I started reading again and I, the story just I don't know, I knew the story, but the books were something completely different and I started loving books again. So these were something that got me really back into reading at the beginning of this year. And then I kind of rediscovered my love for fantasy books when I started reading Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. This, I don't know, I have so much love for this series because it was just, reminded me so much of the books I read when I was younger and just how much I love to be in the magical world <laughs> I don't know these really got me back into the habit of reading and since then I have been really reading a lot so <laughs> but six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers I watch a lot of uh, the book Leo she's one of my favorites Carrie can read is one of my favorites and these two are like more of the uh, fantasy girls I would say and then I also really enjoy watching Anne Carly and uh, Jack Edwards and they are more of the yeah general fiction maybe also non-fiction book I mean you basically you will know them already <laughs> why am I telling you who these people are but it's difficult to come up with a question I would ask all of them I actually don't know what I would ask them. I would love to meet them one day and just talk to them about stuff, <laughs> I don't know, about books. But I don't have a specific question, I think. Maybe how they manage to be able to read that much, but for some of them it's their job to read. So if I wouldn't be working eight hours a day, maybe I would be able to read that much too. So. <laughs> Yeah, don't really have a, a specific question to ask them. Number seven is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think one of the hardest challenges is to keep coming up with content, actually. Because as I mentioned right before, I have a normal job. I have to work like 40 hours a week. So I will not be one of those people who's able to do videos like, oh, I read every book, haha, <laughs> recommended. Because it, the time spent I would need to read all of these books would be way too long and I wouldn't be able to like read for fun. And I don't have this channel to, to do these kinds 
of videos I do this I have this channel to talk about the things I read for pleasure because I do it in my free time and not as a job but I think that it can be difficult to just come up with content every week with just the books I read for pleasure in my free time so let's see how this goes up until now I was I have been doing quite good <laughs> with the content I'm doing it's maybe not the most interesting stuff to everyone or the most catching stuff but it's just what I'm able to do and it's what I have fun doing so I will just keep on going I think and if there will be a point where I don't have an idea anymore I won't force it because this is not my job it's just a hobby so yeah but I think this can be quite quite challenging uh, number eight is when did you start reading I can't remember actually I have always been been reading when I was uh, so little that I w wasn't able to read alone like my mom always read me bedtime stories and um, we we started reading together with these um, I don't know if you remember these these books or if you had them but um, there was uh, there were some words were replaced by little pictures and so my mom would read everything that's written and I would jump in and tell the word of the picture the, the sentence would go like um, uh, out on the grass there was a and then there was a picture of a cow and I would say cow <laughs> then my mom would go on reading and that's how we started reading together and then it evolved that I where before bed was reading stories to her and yeah so basically I started reading when I was able to read, even before that maybe. I always have loved books. I uh, had a subscription with the library when I was younger and I was always borrowing, 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 borrowing. Hmm? That's a hard word, I never realized. <laughs> I always went there, I picked up books, I read them, brought them back. So unfortunately, I, I remember reading a lot of fantasy books when I was younger, but I can't remember which stories they were which is very sad because I actually would like to read them again even though they're like for children for like 10 to 13 year olds maybe but I'm just interested <laughs> in reading them with them again maybe I have to go to my local library and go to the kids section and search for the covers that bring back some memories <laughs> but um, yes that's actually also my goal for the next year to um, have a library li library license again so that I can also borrow books because I should not buy every book I want to read that's not healthy for my bank account that's not healthy for the storage I have in my apartment that's just not smart because maybe I don't even like the book <laughs> so that's definitely a goal for next year to be reading more books from the library but to answer the question I have been reading since I was a child. <laughs> question number nine is where do you read? I mostly read at home in this room actually. I, you just saw me reconstruct everything. You see my fairy lights that I hung up. I'm not satisfied by the way with the, I just hung this one up by the way. Normal, normally I'm just I just have these these light bulbs. Oh I don't know if you can see them these light bulbs hanging here and I actually like it better when this fairy light is not here maybe I will put this on the other side of the room it will look better but I would just want to have it here for the sake of my background right now <laughs> um, but yeah this is where I mostly read um, I do sometimes read on my commute to to work I am driving with my car to the train station and from there on I'm taking the subway for like half an hour every day to work and then half an hour back to my car um, but actually I don't always feel like reading there because when it's quite crowded and it's so loud I don't want to then I'm just prefer listening to music but uh, sometimes I'm reading on my commute most of the time I'm reading at home but maybe I want to get into like going to a cafe just to read. I've never done this before, but I always see people doing this in movies. Maybe that can be part of my bucket list <laughs> to go and read in 
public spots like a cafe or the park. I'm not doing this at the moment. And now it's winter time, so I don't know if I will start doing it, but um, can be a plan. <laughs> I'm open to it at least. Question number 10 is, what kind of books do you like to read? I'm just kind of figuring that out currently because I haven't been reading for a couple of years. So I just kind of lost my, my style in books. I know that I really enjoy fantasy, especially young adult fantasy. At some point it was kind of like a little, I was a little ashamed to admit that, which is stupid, you know, because you don't have to hide the fact that you like books that were written originally for a younger audience. I don't think this is bad. I'm allowed to enjoy young adult books. <laughs> I don't have to read classics to consider myself a reader, but I do actually want to read a lot of classics because I think they can have a, a re they can really have an impact on you, but you have to enjoy it to read them. I kind of try to read a book just to read it and it's not, that's not how it goes. But basically I'm, I am, let's say it like this, I'm interested in everything besides non-fiction. I just kind of didn't, I don't know, I can't find my way into non-fiction books. And horror, Ho horror, <laughs> scary books. <laughs> scary stuff, not for me. <laughs> what does your book collection look like? Um, you've seen my bookshelf in my previous video. I just started collect collecting books this year, which is a hobby I discovered as well, and it's not good for my bank account, but I love to go and buy books. Actually today, I was in Düsseldorf basically, um, because I had to attend a course there, and I was way too early because the only train I could take to go there was there 40 minutes before my appointment, which is always great, you know? And there was a bookstore, so I went in and they had like uh, books for a reduced price and I actually bought one just because it was four euros. I can't resist, I don't know, I, I have a problem. <laughs> I saw a book and I saw that it was on a, it had a discount and it sounded interesting and the cover was quite pretty, so it had to go home with me, even though I just bought three other books the day before, but I had the intention of buying these. So yeah, you've seen my book collection. I promise that I will do a more in-depth bookshelf tour when I am buying a second one so that I can display them a little, display them so they look a little more appealing <laughs> and then that they have like a specific order because at the moment they don't. And then I will show you. So yeah, these were all the questions for the booktube newbie tag. A little late, I know, but better late than never, <laughs> I would say. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciate my makeup I did especially for you and for this video. <laughs> no, okay. I, I, I just had, I had, all, I also had fun dressing up like this. I want to be a fairy so bad, so. Let me live my fairy dream right here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next weekend. Bye! <laughs>